for a kicker in the offseason. I, I think in some ways you don't want to do too much to keep that leg fresh, right? Well, doing more doesn't just apply to working on the field. Doing more applies to everything that we do. So, you know, it can apply to kicking where we go out and maybe try and get a couple extra reps in, make sure that we're sharp and crisp, but can also apply to the weight room, get a few extra reps in, in the weight room, stay afterwards, get some stretching in with the coaches, do some work to try and maybe get more explosive or more flexible, things like that. It could be do more stuff to take care of your body, spend a little bit more time in the training room, trying to make sure that your body is healthy and ready to go. And it means doing more in the classroom, making sure that you do everything that you can to pass your classes and make sure that you're eligible and good to go for the season. You graduated since last season. What does that feel like to have that behind you? I know you're doing graduate school, but just to, to be at that level now. Uh, I mean, it doesn't feel much different, honestly. Uh, I, w I wish it did, but you know, I'm still taking classes. Um, I've been taking classes every summer, so this hasn't been any different for me. Um, I've been fortunate to have them be online this summer, so I haven't had to actually um, go to any classes. It's been nice to be able to work on my own time a little bit. Um, but, you know, we're going to get into it in the season, and I'll still be taking classes, so it'll be business as usual. Kind of what was that summer routine like for you this year as uh, you get ready for camp? Uh, I mean, over the summer, we just wake up, come to butts, eat some breakfast, you know, spend a little time in the train room, like I said earlier, just mm -hmm. take care of your body, make sure you're healthy, good to go, uh, work out, eat lunch, go home, do some homework, come back to butts, have, uh, you know, have some meetings with the coaches. If it's the day for meetings, have some seven on seven with the team. If it's the day for that, team runs in there, of course. And then after that, go home eat some dinner, homework, and then wake up and make some repeat the next day. How much of a goal is the Groves Award? I know it's a team team first deal for you and all that, but individually, I mean, the Groves Award is, you know, that award for the, for the top three. Is that something all that you strive to accomplish? Um, I mean, it would be nice to win it, of course, but um, obviously I'm just going to focus on doing everything that I can to be the best, you know, asset to this team that I can be. And if... You know, if I produce results that, um, that award me that attention, then so be it. But that's not going to be my focus. How much did that miss against Alabama? How long did that weigh on you, if at all? Uh, well, we have a 24-hour rule. And mm -hmm. so you can, you can think about it and, and you can have emotions and feelings about um, whatever it is that just happened for 24 hours after the game's over. And after that, you have to move on. So um, that, that's about it. I, I really kind of, it hit me the next day, um, but after that I just focused on moving on and, and now I'm ready to, to get, get going with this season. Team-wide mindset with the 24-hour rule? Absolutely, yes. Robert, I guess this is your fifth preseason yeah. at, at Georgia. Um, how have you seen the program evolve as Kirby has put his stamp on it and brought in class after class of guys that, that he wanted and you know, how would you describe that? Uh, I, I just think it's it's been really special just to, to kind of see how the program has changed over these last few years. I uh, was actually going back through some film uh, earlier today and, and looked back at my first camp here. And uh, at the time, I was punting as well. Um, so it just goes to show you kind of how much things have changed. Um, camp that year was 23 days, and we had 22 practices, so it was uh, grueling. And, and now we're down to, I think, eight practices or eight or ten practices, something like that, in 11 days. So. It's definitely been cool to see how it's changed. Do you think everybody that's come since he's been here kind of understands well what his expectations are versus maybe some holdovers from the previous uh, staff? And uh, you know, how has that kind of played out? I mean, I don't think it matters who the head coach is. When you come to Georgia, you should expect to play at a high level and you should expect to compete for championships every year. Vibe-wise, how is this going into this compared to the previous four years? Does it seem like a little bit more Everyone really knows what to expect, almost business-like, not some overhanging storyline or anything. Um, I mean, I think when you come into camp, you know, you have goals that you set for the team every year. And I think that some of the goals have been very similar the last few years. Um, we obviously want to compete for championships every single season. And so, you know, we have goals that align with that that we want to come in and accomplish. So I think that... You know, guys are coming in with the right mentality and the right mindset, and guys are ready to, to come in and compete right away. Does it feel like to, um, you got to work hard every year, obviously. It's, nothing's automatic, but, you know, the top programs tend to get into that, get into a group where they're there every year, and maybe they expect to be there every year. The opponents expect to be there. Do you sort of feel that that, that has happened here, that y'all have kind of gotten into that class where you can, you sort of expect, obviously, to be one of the top four or five people in the country every year? Um, I don't really know how to answer that. 
What was your trip to New York? Did you go to the MLS offices? Uh, yes, I did. Um, so the Athletic Association took me and uh, some other student athletes that are all in Grady uh, up to New York for the Peabody Awards, which is like journalism based awards. And uh, so we toured the MLS office, we toured MSNBC, we toured CNN. Um, so it was a really great weekend just to kind of look at look at things from more of a career side. You're a big soccer guy, aren't you? Yes, I am. So was that, that cool? Yes, it was awesome. Is there anything specifically you're working on in your, act, in your actual kicking going into this game? Um, yeah, um, Coach Fountain, uh, even going back to the spring, has talked about trying to uh, diversify my portfolio with kickoffs. Um, so I'm definitely going to be working on some, some special kickoffs this season.